Recording high quality audio is extremely important. Even though it's not vital to have an over expensive microphone, that doesn't mean that recording high quality audio isn't a challenge. Now one of the main problems that people face with audio is background white noise. My name is Andrew and today I'll be teaching you how to remove background hiss in Audacity. Now while this can be done in many other different softwares, the perks of using Audacity is the fact that it's both free and easy to use. As always, the link to where you can download Audacity will be in the description below. Now to get started, go ahead and download and install Audacity respective to your system type, and once you do, go ahead and open it up. You will then be greeted with a seemingly complex interface, however it's really not that hard to understand. Just to give you a quick tour, at the top of the window we have things such as playback controls, such as record, play and pause, your volume level meters, as well as your audio tools. Now to start off, we need to import some audio. Do this by pressing the file button in the top left, and navigate to your file of choice. And once you do, go ahead and double click it, which in turn will import it onto track 1 in Audacity. Now in the center of the workspace, you will see the waveform of the audio clip that you just imported. Now also to the far left of the window, you will see the adjustment settings for that track which in this case happens to be track 1. Now we will not be messing with these settings however, at least not today. Now to remove the white noise, our first step is to find a section of audio that is solely just noise. Or in other words, find a portion of the clip that is completely silent except for the hiss in the background. Now just for an example, here is something what you should be aiming for. Now what we need to do is select as much of the white noise as possible without getting any unwanted talking or other noises that you don't want to isolate. Now I know that sounds complicated, but I'll show you why later on. Now once you have the selection of white noise selected, move up to the top of Audacity where it says Effect, and inside there there will be an option called Noise Reduction. Now pressing this option will bring up the Noise Reduction Settings panel. Now luckily, all we need to do is press the button at the top of the window which says Get Noise Profile. And what this is going to do is tell Audacity that the noise that is currently selected is unwanted and therefore those frequencies must be removed from the clip. Now it doesn't stop here though. Once you've created the noise profile, select the whole clip just as you did with the noise portion and go back up to noise profile but this time press the OK button in the top right. Now doing this should successfully remove all of the white noise from the audio clip. Now this usually will only take a few seconds. However, if your clip is longer than 10 minutes, it may take anywhere up to 30 to complete. And once it's done, go ahead and play it back just to make sure that all of it has been removed to your liking. Now just for fun, I've put together a side-by-side -side comparison of the exact same clip, one with the white noise removed, and one without any post-processing. Now as you can see, this makes a huge difference in the overall professionalism of the clip, and can be the difference between clean and muddy sounding audio. Now as I said earlier, it is important that you only select the white noise within the audio clip. But what happens when you select more than that? Well, if you perhaps select some of your voice in addition, Audacity is going to remove the white noise plus any frequency of your voice. Here's a quick example. First off, we're going to slide over to encoding. So although it is important to get as much white noise as you can, it's also very vital that you do not miss the mark on where to cut your selections short, lest you ruin the audio. But setting that aside, this method has always worked well for me when I need a little extra noise cancellation, or when one of my mics wasn't performing very well on the day of shooting. Now to export your clip, go back up to the file menu and select export. Now it will first ask you for a file destination, so go ahead and save it anywhere that is most convenient to you. Now once this is done, run through the set of windows which will render the file to your computer. Now by the way, a quick tip, the noise removal can sometimes cause extremely slight warping of the audio, which is really only audible at high volumes. But nonetheless, it is still there, but luckily there is a way in Audacity that you can reduce it. Inside of Audacity, you can mess around with the normalize and reverb effects to somewhat correct it. Well that's all for this video. If you like this content, check out some of my others. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. But anyway guys, my name is Andrew, and until next time, thank you for watching.